today you study a piece of fiction the red trap written by selma legelof first let's know something about the story so introduction to the story in this story the author highlights the human dilemma of temptation it tells about human emotional needs and human behavior all through the story there is a suitable humor that serves in lightening the seriousness of its tone so what does it describe it highlights the human dilemma of temptation moreover human emotional needs and behavior now let's know something about the summary of the story once there was a poor vagabond he was a victim of want and hunger he sells red traps out of bag material to make food and meat and starts to beg and steal for additional income so here is a poor vagabond bags and steel to fulfill his needs and to remove hunger and poverty he has a unique thought that the whole world is a big red trap according to his thoughts all comforts and joys are nothing but temptation to trap He is succumbing to temptation, spells end of everything. He enjoys this dwelling on this thought during lonely plodings. So, what does the next poem say? It says that he has a unique thought. That the whole world is a red trap. all the things are temptations or baits to trap one day he seeks shelter in a small grey cottage by the roadside the owner is an old man without wife or children he accommodates him he also feeds him porridge and treats kindly the two smoke and play cards together so one day he seeks shelter in a cottage the owner of the cottage is an old man who is alone feeds him kindly now as the time passes the host confides in the vagabond the host who is a crofter at Renzo Iron Works depends on a milch cow for income so that old man works at Renzo Iron Works and now supported depends on a milch he had earned 30 kroner in payment last month he shows the amount saved in a pouch which is hung on a nail near the window frame his earning that is 30 kroners they are hung on a nail actually they are hung in a pouch 
on the nail. He shows this amount as I have said earlier. He shows the amount saved in a pouch which is hung on a nail near the window frame. He shows the amount to the vagabond. Now what happens that one day when he, the vagabond, decides to leave the house of that old man, he thanks the old man, bids goodbye and goes his own way. After that, the host locks the house, goes to milk the cow, guest returns after an hour and steals the money and runs away. So, this kind of trap was made by him that the vagabond one day decides to leave and bids a goodbye to the old man. The old man locks the room or locks the house and goes away to milk the cow. In his absence, the vagabond returns and steals the money in that pouch runs away. Now while running he is lost in the forest. He turns off the road into the woods. He walks through a forest. The forest is so big and confusing. He is dead tired. He realizes that he has been trapped in the forest. Forest for him now is like a prison and escape is impossible. So he walks through a forest. He is like he is entrapped. He is that tired. Now in this darkness he finds a new hope. Vagabon disparages he is disparaged and is afraid, sees no way out. He gets disappointed. Suddenly he hears regular thumping of a hammer. He thinks that an iron mill is somewhere nearby. He gathers his strength and walks in the direction of the sound. Now he reaches Remzo Iron Works, a very noisy place. So or the hope in the darkness there, suddenly he comes to hear a constant sound of a constant hammering sound. Goes in the direction of the sound. It is Hamzo, sorry, Renzo works a very noisy place. He gets into the mill unnoticed. He opens the gate and enters the forge. He seeks permission from the master blacksmith to stay overnight. He permits him. He lies down close to the furnace to warm himself. Thus what happens that he gets into Renzo walks there unnoticed, seeks and seeks permission from the master blacksmith and is permitted lie down close to the furnace. Now 
the return of Iron Master's nightly visit. The owner makes even nightly rounds of inspection for quality control. Suddenly, he gazes upon him, that is, the vagabond. He looks at him very closely. He mistakes him for Captain Nilzolo, an old regimental comrade. He hopes to get some money from the Iron Master. The vagabond does not refuse his identity. Iron Master invites him to his manor house. Iron Master makes a visit and meets suddenly that vagabond and the vagabond, vagabond doesn't reveal his identity. He is invited to the manor house. Now that vagabond that is tramp declines Iron Master's invitation. He doesn't agree to come to manor house. He has a fear of detection of 30 kroner. He refuses to go up the manor house. Iron Master assumes Captain embarrassed of his rag floor. He invites the tramp to give company for Christmas, finally gives up due to the tramp's repeated refusal and goes away. So, what does he do? That vagabond refuses to go up the manor house. The Iron Master invites him for the Christmas party. but gives up having refused by the vagabond having been refused by the vagabond and goes away. Now Iron Master sends daughter his daughter to convince the guest that he has to come and you have to convince him. Within half an hour, the daughter of Iron Master arrives. Daughter is not pretty, but shy. She approaches him and he gets quite frightened. The daughter introduces herself as Idla Wilmanson. He extends invitation again. She extends invitation again. She tells he could live after Christmas any time. And now the Iron Master asks his daughter to convince the guest. She starts to convince him. She starts to convince him and says and assures him that he could leave any time after the Christmas. Now he changes his mind. The red trap peddler changes his mind. He gives con uh, consent to accompany Adla. He covers himself with fur coat carried by the lady's velvet. Now he becomes friendly with the girl. On the way to the manor house, his conscience pricked him about the stolen money in his pocket. He feels him to be trapped, never to be released. So, while going to the manor house, he feels ashamed of stolen money. He again feels himself to be trapped, never to be relieved. Now, it was the Iron Master's plan and his daughter's concern that he got over there. The Iron Master decides to get some flesh on his strength, thin and weak body. 
He plans to get him to do something better than selling wet traps. His daughter expresses surprise at this and adds that he showed no signs of education. Island Master hopes about that captain that he misunderstands the vagabond as the captain. He is sure of his getting over tram manners on getting groomed. He asks his daughter to have patience, expects to find world of difference in the guest appearance on getting clean. So the guest entry shocks Iron Master. He is quite chained after bath. So the Iron Master asks his daughter to bring out a transformation in the captain that is misunderstood actually he is a vagabond. The guest is totally changed after bath, shave and change of clothes. He presented before the Iron Master in broad daylight. However, the well-groomed guest bears no resemblance to the old regimental comrade. Now, the Iron Master was not pleased. He demands explanation. The guest defends himself saying he made no pretense about being a captain. Reminds that he pleaded to be allowed to stay in the porch. Offers to change into his own rags and leave. So, after being changed by new clothes, the vagabond has no resemblance with the comrade. Iron Master gets angry. Now, the Iron Master gets angry and warns. Finish. Now the vagabond defends him, saying he met no pretense about being captain. The vagabond defends him and wants back his rags in to leave. Now he has shown Iron Master's displeasure and trait. He indirectly shows his intention of taking the matter to the sheriff. Now. After leaving, the tram gives a peace of mind. The tram clarifies that the whole world is a red trap. All offers bear resemblance to bait used to trap. He too might be allured and trapped someday. And now, the Iron Master thinks to inform whole matter to the sheriff. And now, the vagabond gain defends him that the world is a red trap. The world is a red trap. And everybody is caught in the temptation. Now, Iron Master is convinced by his argument. Iron Master quite impressed with Tram's arguments and asks him to leave immediately. Now at last intervention, she wishes the Tram to come back. The father gives in, man brought to the table and fed. He wonders about at last motive. He wonders at what is at last motive. He has long hours of sleep. After sharing Christmas fare, the stranger sleeps the whole afternoon, participates in lightening the Christmas tree also. And after the Christmas dinner, the tramp thanks everyone. The girls tell him to keep his father's suit as a Christmas gift. And the tramp feels amazed at her words. Now, morning after Christmas, after the service returned home, having heard from the church about the tramp's theory. Actually, the father and daughter both go to church. And there, they come to know that he has got a theory. The girl feels very dejected. The father feels unhappy about letting the tramp into the house. He fears that the tramp must have disappeared with their silver wares. He has left behind a Christmas present for Edla. Now, they come to know about the theft, about the, actually, as he said earlier, that everybody is caught in the temptation, the Iron Master gets convinced, the Iron Master gets 
convinced and asked him to leave. But his daughter desperately wants that vagabond to come back. Daughter wants the vagabond to come back. He is, that vagabond is welcomed, is given a Christmas gift to. Now, the next morning, both father and daughter judge and come to know about the theft committed by the vagabond to get depressed or disappointed. They think that the thief must have disappeared with the silverware but to their surprise he has left behind a Christmas present for Edla. The vagabond had left the place with a present for Edla, her master's daughter. Edla opens the present. Inside it is a red trap with three trends on her nose. The tramp expresses gratitude for being treated as a captain. The girls raising him to a captain transform him for the better and gives him power to clear his school. Now, Ed Luggett, the vagabond, does, has given signs of kindness, honesty and kindness. Now he was free from the red trap. This was all about the summary of the story. Let's now have theme of the story. So the theme is that the story deals with the trap of material benefits and the most human beings are prone to fall into. Still, there are stray good souls that help them come out of the abyss of their wretchedness and live a dignified life. So, what is the theme? That the story deals with enormous baits or temptations and everybody gets caught in them but some things or people help him to get back to a dignified life. This was all about the theme of the story. Thank you.